Praise the Most High today. Yes, indeed. Praise the highest today, family. It is another absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. And it's one I'm so glad to see. I hope everyone is able to get out and enjoy this day. Getting yourself in some fresh air, some sunshine, and the most I will is some exercise. Apparently the most I gave me a, a correcting word this morning. <laughs> a correcting ideal word this morning. And it's one that I had started getting into pride. And this might sound a little weird, but I started getting into pride and saying in my heart, well, we got through it the first time, we'll get through it this time. And the most high let me know how mistaken I was. Not that we're not going to get through this, but I had started taking on the I. I heard people saying stuff to me, well... At least you know what to expect. You, you know how to handle the pain. You know these little things. So that started affecting the way I believe. And I would dare say what I believe. Because it was a point of we've been there before we get through it again. And not one of I'm depending on you. Every single day, all day. Not from what happened last year, because just like Dawi, you could tell me, okay, we gotta go around the other, the other way this time. We're not gonna do it the same way this time. But I wanted to pass that on today. And in doing, and and walking in that life, or in walking in that pride. I had started to kind of shun my help, I guess you would say. And what I mean by that is, folks would say, I'm praying for you. And in my heart and mind, I'm like, you don't need to pray. We already, this is already done. It's a done deal. And the most I let me know overnight, that was pride. Trying to sneak his ugly head in the way. But as always, he's a faithful father. He'd be like, okay, you need to check this out. So it don't turn into something ugly that can stop and hurt our progress process. The thing I do have a grand idea today. And one that really helped me this month. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said before, family, I gotta work on my <laughs> I gotta work on my own heart medicine. And the most high bless me that I'm able to receive it. And then we can pass it on. Pass it on. If you've been blessed, feels like heaven. Feels like heaven. So pass it on. Pass it on. Hallelujah. Let me get back to it. But there is no weapon. My peace and shalom. No weapon. My peace or my shalom. No weapon. My shalom. <laughs> and this idea is basically the same. Can't have a message. No weapon formed against you can prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Most High. And the righteousness is of me. Hallelujah, says the Most High. Hallelujah. You see, family, I love when you put that exclamation mark on them scripts like that. Said the Most High. He want to make sure that folks know that that's what he was saying at that time and to us today and that was Isaiah 54 and 17 and then we looked at John 14 and 27 
And it says, Shalom I leave with thee, my shalom I give unto you, not as the world give, it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And see, family, I had to dissect this script this morning. See, a lot of times we get scripts and be like, yeah, 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 that's, that's just one of the normal heavy hairs that we always go to. But when we dissect them, we're going to see something new in it that's going to help us for this battle that we didn't see before. And it says, Shalom, I leave with you. My shalom, I give unto you, not as the world give it, give it unto you. And then this, this explains the difference between his shalom and the world's shalom. It says that your not heart not be troubled, neither let it be afraid. See, the peace that the world gives us, family, is always temporary. Oh, boy. And it comes with troubles, a heart of trouble, and still being afraid. See, a lot of the peace that the world gives is in the form of a bottle in the form of a pill, in the form of a cigarette, in the form of a blunt, weed, marijuana, cocaine, drugs, alcohol, and even in the form of women, men, sex. So I speak on this a lot because that's where I come from. Man. I have a history of being a sexual sex addict and a porn addict. And the Most High delivered me from that and continues to live, deliver me from it daily. But a lot of times this is where we're gaining our peace and we'll make that distinction. This is the peace that we have that the world gives us or that the world offers us. They say, you can, you can take this vacation. You'll come back better than ever. So you can invest in this, that, the other. Your life will never be the same. But oh no, if not just the same, it'll be worse. <laughs> we praise the highest today, family. I am so excited, family. Mm -mm -mm. And you said not like the shalom I give you. So the shalom he gives, he gives you the key to what shalom he has, the difference. He says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So this is what he's telling you. This is true shalom. This is the shalom I give you. Once I give it to you, you're going to be all right. Just like <clears throat> this week up here at this hospital. You know, all kinds of ideas go through the head. They tell you, they say you need another heart. Sir, first thing most folks would, would do is fear. And don't, don't think I won't have to the opportunity to now. We we'll want to. <laughs> There's a lot of times we want to worry about things that seem to be very concerning or detrimental to our health. <laughs> but family wants the most I get you on this path where it's from glory to glory, from height to different heights to different heights from one level to the next, from where yesterday's belief got you to today, and their own support, their own, their own support. Climb, climbing the ladder of faith or belief to where he's teaching you about himself the whole time and what he expects. See, if the text says without belief it's impossible to please him, and it really should say the Most High expects you to believe him. And he's not going to be satisfied if you don't. It could be written like that because it's the truth. He loves it when his children trust him. And I mean, I'm not trying to blow my own whistle. But like I said, it's him doing it from faith to faith, from glory to glory. So I come up here with the expectancy. Just like with the, the last time he told me, no matter what you see, don't take your eyes off me. I'll never leave you for a second. Right about two months before I had a stroke in 2016. But 
this time it was different. It was different. It, it was like, you see what happened back then? I stroked up. They didn't have time to go through all these pre operation tests and details. And see, with that in itself, it could be a grand opportunity <laughs> to start doubting. Because you're around a whole lot of people, family, that don't understand what you know. <laughs> they don't understand what you and the most I got going on. All they see it from is the physical. They don't see this thing as a physical battle and a spiritual victory that the most high is gaining from this. And he's going to get the, the, the glory and the honor for it. Just like I told him, if you get me out of this hospital the last time, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> I'm going to tell on you, just like I used to tell on my brothers and sisters to snitch. <laughs> to, to get away from that switch, to get out, get out of, of a switching. But I told him, I'm going to tell him. I promise you I will. And just like now, when he does it, I'm going to tell on me, tell on, tell on him even more. People will know what the Most High has done for Robert. Continu continuously know. See, all this is is another round, family. And you fight the good fight of belief. Uh -uh -uh. You bring glory and honor to the Father. You bring results to the kingdom. Your folks could be like, hey, I want some of what he got. If he did it for him, why can't he do it for me? The text says he's no respectable person. I want some of that too. But let's look at what trouble really is. It means beset by problems or conflict, showing distress or anxiety. So he's saying, don't let it be, don't, don't, don't have no trouble, don't have no stress and anxiety. Being beset by problems and conflict. No. That's not what I made you for. I ain't made you to go through that when I'm here for you. When you have me, the authentic thing to show your faith. When you have Mr. Peace himself, <laughs> praise the most high who said, I give you my shalom. Mm -mm -mm. And then afraid means worried that something undesirable will occur, will be done. Well, yeah, I, I could think about um things not going right with this situation I'm in right now. But I can't. <laughs> I can't because there ain't no doubt or no question in my mind what the Father has told me. See, before we even got up here, family, he said, with long life, I will satisfy you and I will show you my salvation. See, this isn't just no script that popped into, into my head and never will it. See, he, he, he told me this. I would almost say audibly, but he told me this and I knew who was talking. <laughs> no question, no doubt. He was saying, Robert, I got you through this, in my own words. I'm going to bring you out of this and it's going to get me to glory. Mm -mm -mm. And then we looked at 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, or we should say 12, 9 through 11. And this is the New Living Translation. And it says, each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now, so now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of the Most High can work through me. You see, family, the word through through. It's not that I'm getting to shine, it's him shining through me. It's him getting the glory through me. Because it's him working, it's not me. That's why I take pleasure in my weakness and in the insults, the hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Mashiach. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And another version says, when I am weak, he is strong. And another version says, when I am weak, he shows himself strong on my behalf. Hallelujah. Mm, pardon me, family. Hallelujah. 
And just as much as I hear from some folks saying that they don't know no better, they just talked out, unbelievable. Oh, I hate to hear that. But good luck. I hope you, I hope everything turns out right for you. <laughs> and I have to catch myself sometimes, you know, because people don't have the same belief set that I have. They don't have the same experience as I have. And yet I have to stay out of pride. And saying he did it before, he'll do it again. Because yes, that's how it works. But at the same time, we have to seek him daily for what he's going to do. Not from 2016, but for today. Family, I do love and appreciate you so much. Appreciate the well wishes, the words of encouragement, the prayers. Thank you. Told our robot. Family, y'all do stay up and keep pushing forward. In the right direction. With joy, Elohim. Shalom.